Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is your brother Abel. Just wanted to share a quick word with you. Before I get into it, I just want to give praise to the Most High, because without Him, we are nothing. The title to this one is called Warnings. We'll be reading from Joel 1, 14 to 20. Amplify. Consecrate a fast. Proclaim a solemn assembly. Gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land to the house of the Lord, your God, and cry out to the Lord in penitent pleadings. Alas, for the day, for the judgment day of the Lord is at hand, and it will come upon the nation as a destruction from the Almighty. Has not the fool been cut off before our eyes? Joy and gladness from the house of our God, the seeds of grain shrive under the clouds. The storehouses are desolate and empty. The barns are in ruins because the grain is dried up. How the animals groan, the herds of cattle are bewildered and wander aimlessly because they have no pasture even the flocks of sheep suffer O lord i cry out to you for fire has devoured the pastures of the wilderness and the flame has burned up all the trees of the field even the wild animals pant in longing for you for the water brooks are dried up and fire has consumed the pastures of the wilderness We'll be reading from Joel 2, 30, 31, Amplified. Give me one second. I will show signs and wonders displaying my power in the heavens and on the earth. Blood and fire, columns of smoke, the sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. We'll be reading from Acts 2, 16, 21. Give me one second, guys. But this is the beginning of what was spoken of through the prophet Joel, and it shall be in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit upon all mankind, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see divinely prompt visions, and your old men shall dream divinely prompt dreams. Even on my bond servants, both men and women, I will in those days pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will bring about wonders in the sky above and signs, attesting miracles on the earth below, blood and fire and smoking vapor. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and glorious day of the Lord comes. And it shall be that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord, invoking, adoring, and worshiping the Lord Jesus shall be saved, rescued spiritually. We'll be reading from Matthew 24, 29, Amplified. Give me one second, guys. Sorry. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not provide its light and the stars will fall from the sky, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And the last one we'll be reading from Matthew 16, 3, 4. Give me one second, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want you to pay attention to this, what Jesus is saying. And in the morning, it will be stormy today. For the sky is red and has a threatening look. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but cannot interpret the signs of the times. An evil and morally unfaithful generation craves a miraculous sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. Then he left them and went away. My brothers and sisters, take heed to what the word of God is telling you. This is just a warning. 
Jesus loves you. Repent. Peace. Shalom.